hello. Uh, sorry for some uh, delay. Uh, today, uh, uh, I want. Uh, my name is Yan Jie from Huawei, and uh, I want to introduce uh, some uh, um, green and uh, low carbon uh, uh, practice for the telco cloud uh, scenario uh, infrastructure. As we know uh, from the, uh, the Paris Agreement, uh, we have the target uh, for the uh, 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 low carbon uh, development, uh, have the target uh, to, to the year 2025, right? Get uh, the uh, carbon neutrality. And uh, also uh, for the um, ICT domain, uh, every carrier, they have their own target, and which is uh, uh, this one is uh, faster than the uh, uh, Paris uh, Agreement. So, uh, uh, so for the operators, they are go faster on, on this domain. Uh, uh, let's have a look at the uh, overall the energy efficiency the methodology. Uh, normally, we have uh, two level. One is from the software level, one is from the hardware level. From the software level, that means uh, uh, we need to improve the application, their design. This is a uh, uh, higher level. Uh, for example, we have the network is 2G, 3G, 5G. Uh, in every generation, uh, the application, maybe we can de develop our uh, software. And uh, uh, the, the, the idea is we can merge, use the convergence design to support 2G, 3G, 4G, 5G. So all this the function, they are supported by the same software. Therefore, we can uh, uh, significantly reduce the hardware uh, deployment. Uh, so this one, however, actually, it has a higher level and uh, um, much more benefit. So this one, another is uh, from the platform level. Actually, now in the cloud uh, era, our uh, uh, architecture is a layered architecture. So even the application, they can do this one from the platform level. Also, we will try to do best do the platform level uh, effort to save the energy. So from the uh, platform level, uh, we will focus on the hardware. And uh, how to focus on the hardware is uh, the, the idea is we will allocate the resource to the uh, application requirement. We, we don't waste the resource, even the hardware they don't take the traffic. Right? So we will allocate the, the resource on demand. This is what we want to do. Uh, in Turbo Cloud, uh, this type, uh, architecture we call it a uh, green brain. That means it has a, a control plan. It has a control plan to manage the policy, uh, to manage uh, uh, the different scenarios and uh, the policies. And uh, on the platform level, like this is OS level. OS level we have some algorithm because OS level they can uh, detect uh, the hardware status and have everything um, performance statistic. So the uh, OS layer, they will uh, design the dedicated uh, uh, algorithm um, to, to, to save the energy. And uh, the basic capability is on the hardware. Uh, in, normally, this is, uh, now we are focusing more on the CPU, because this part is, is consume the uh, power the most. So most of this feature now is uh, focused on the CPU level. Uh, we, will, uh, we can support it to um, do the frequency scaling and uh, uh, to do the core sleep and, uh, and also can do some offload to the CPU. Uh, all these kind of things is on the computing point of view, computing on, on the servers. So this one is based on the uh, uh, server uh, their capability. So that the, the, the server hardware level is a basic uh, is a foundation. And the first uh, uh, introduce the uh, uh, frequency scaling. Uh, <coughs> uh, as we know, for the uh, uh, computer, the CPU, they are running on the fundamental frequency, and also they can uh, uh, they, they can support a higher and lower frequency uh, based on the requirement. So uh, uh, if, we, if we can enable this feature when the traffic is lower, uh, therefore to, re to save the uh, to save the power consumption. Um, uh, from left side, we can say well, from the uh, Linux, the default uh, algorithm, uh, 
um, they have uh, in, in the CPU waiting status, this one uh, also have the 60% uh, uh, time consuming. In this status, uh, it will consider the CPU is busy actually. Uh, uh, we we, we uh, optimize the, this, uh, this uh, operation, we can do the CPU uh, frequency decrease during this uh, waiting status. Uh, so we can have a better um, uh, uh, effect for the CPU uh, scaling. Uh, this one is uh, we call the uh, traffic aware uh, frequency scaling. Um, this is, this one is combined uh, with our Intel Cloud service. Uh, in Intel Cloud, uh, we have our DBDK technology. Uh, Intel have the DBDK technology. Uh, this DBDK it will uh, it will always uh, use the pulling mode. It always occupy the CPU, occupy the CPU. Uh, so from the point, CPU point of view, it, it can see it's always occupied. Actually. Uh, maybe the, this is network point of view. From computing point of view, there may be no traffic on it. So we need to identify the scenario. If uh, there's no traffic, uh, no real traffic uh, uh, coming and going, uh, even the DBDK uh, network point of view is occupied. Uh, for this cause, we still can enable the uh, CPU uh, screen to reduce their frequency. Uh, to to to. <coughs> Uh, to reduce the uh, power consumption. Uh, th this is uh, one scenario that uh, we based in the top cloud scenario. Uh, <coughs> this uh, feature is, uh, we call it on-call frequency. Um, according to the Intel or ARM CPU architecture, uh, we have the core header, the, the, the core. Uh, another is the uh, other component that we, we call it on-call header. Uncle had uh, it will consume 40% of uh, the uh, energy. So Uncle had uh, it also can support the uh, frequency scaling. Uh, so we, we, we still can um, can do the, um, the for the Uncle had. Uh, for the Uncle had, uh, that means uh, this this is uh, we will reduce the, the Uncle had uh, frequency. They are uh, like the memory bandwidth. Uh, th this kind of capability will reduce because uh, in this time, uh, if the traffic is low, we can reduce their memory bandwidth. Uh, for the on part, this is just uh, one, 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 uh, one scenario. Therefore, <coughs> for the on part, we still can save some energy. Uh, for the CPU, uh, we have uh, <coughs> some, uh, we, it is defined uh, uh, some C status. Uh, C status. C1 and uh, C, C6, th these two status uh, is uh, used for the uh, sleep status. Uh, C6, for if the, um, as you know, if we, the application is deployed by the VM, VM model, and uh, after the application is deployed, there is some, some CPU core is unallocated. We call it, it is a fragment. So for all this, this uh, fragment CPU core, it, it is uh, no any service on it. So we will, we will enable it to uh, deep sleep, that means C6 status. Uh, if you for the uh, unlimited CPU, um, when the traffic is lower, we can uh, enable it to enter the C1. This one is our uh, light sleep status. Uh, so by the, uh, let's, uh, when, when we use this uh, core sleep uh, function, uh, it, it will uh, save the uh, uh, power consumption. Uh, <clears throat> just now, I, 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 I talked about the fragmentation. That means uh, in the data center, normally in Intel Cloud, uh, for some um, tier one uh, operators, they will build the uh, data center uh, in advance, maybe uh, hundred or thousand of server uh, first, uh, and then they will deploy their uh, uh, VNF and CNF application uh, uh, step by step according to their uh, service grow up. So during this procedure, we can see uh, many servers, they are not fully utilized. Uh, many uh, CPU core is still empty. So you can see that the before that is, uh, uh, we still, for every server, the, the CPU cores is still uh, spared. Uh, so we, we can use the defragmentation. Uh, that means that we will centralize uh, the VM deployment to, the, to some servers. And then uh, some uh, <coughs> servers will be empty. So, after defragmentation, for the empty server, then we also can call the idle servers. We can turn off these servers. 
wherever we, we can and totally uh, to consume zero uh, uh, power or something. <coughs> By this way, uh, uh, this, this, this is just for the special scenario. If they have their data center, uh, there are many server can be idle. Uh, uh, this one is we call the uh, uh, tidal pattern uh, frequency uh, uh, scaling. Um, as we know, for the typical uh, scenario, uh, you know, our, according to our behavior, right, every morning, maybe 10 to 11, we, we are very active, uh, very busy. And in the afternoon, almost uh, 2 or 3 o'clock, busy. So every day, we have two busy hours. Uh, and for the other time, is it is uh, um, uh, not so busy. So <clears throat> according to uh, this uh, uh, behavior, uh, we can uh, we can scale in the application uh, because uh, uh, normally uh, when we deploy the network, all the uh, uh, application they are deployed uh, and uh, never change. But uh, we can uh, do the application level uh, uh, scaling, scaling, scaling down. That means uh, when the traffic is lower in the long busy hour, we can uh, we can scale it down, and uh, then next VM will be deployed. Uh, and some uh, central resource will be released. Uh, after release, we can come back with the defragmentation, and then uh, we can release some idle server from the uh, from the uh, data center. Uh, by this way, we can uh, further to uh, save some energy. <coughs> uh, this is a <coughs> feature uh, we we are. This <coughs> uh, this one combined with the defragmentation, and uh, that means we will power off the we will power off the server. Uh, um, and this feature means uh, uh, for the idle server, uh, we will we will uh, use the uh, manual with the management plan uh, to define the policy uh, to, to to power off. Uh, the management plan it will use the uh, physical, it will call the PIN. The PIN means the physical infrastructure management component to power off the server. Uh, and, uh, after power off, uh, if the traffic uh, come, in, come, come back, we need to power on also. Power on also. Uh, this is the power off and power on. And also, if for the long time running, long time running, and we need to assure this server still can be our normal uh, status. It can come up. So uh, th this one will also do some um, periodic automatically power on testing. Uh, it will power on one hour and then power off to assure in, in case we need it, it can come back. OK. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, based on um, all these uh, all these uh, features, uh, uh, it is expected uh, to achieve uh, 25 percent 25 percent uh, uh, power consuming. Uh, uh, but you know, uh, in Intel Cloud scenario uh, and the IT scenario, maybe have some difference because in Intel Cloud scenario, uh, when we enable all these kind of features, it will be more careful. Uh, because uh, we will consider the reliability as the first point, of, uh, the first priority. Uh, in case uh, we want to save some uh, energy, but if it causes a network accident, so that is not what we want. <coughs> okay, uh, here is some um, um, future uh, approaches. Um, I think that the first is. Uh, uh, we still uh, need to uh, improve the manufacture uh, process. Uh, th this is a basic to reduce the power consumption. And also, uh, now the DPU card is become sure. Uh, we will use the DPU to offload the uh, uh, CPU, uh, uh, CPU traffic. Uh, by this way, DPU <coughs> will provide a better uh, energy efficiency. Uh, um, <coughs> and also, we will. Uh, we can uh, uh, do some uh, uh, improvement on the auto band, auto band uh, uh, energy saving, like uh, for the uh, for the uh, intelligent fan speed uh, control. Uh, the, the fan, because it is 
always running and uh, for the cooling. Uh, <coughs> if the uh, if the traffic is lower and uh, uh, actually the CPU uh, the, the fan speed it can be reduced uh, by, uh, by by this way it, it also can uh, save the, the power consumption. Uh, <coughs> and uh, uh, and uh, also we need to, uh, we can consider uh, more efficiency for the cooling, maybe like the uh, liquid cooling something. Yes. Um, another one is uh, based on the AI technology. AI technology. Um, <coughs> uh, for the AI, uh, we will use the AI uh, to uh, to learn and uh, to recommend uh, some uh, uh, energy saving strategy, uh, and uh, also can use the AI to to provide uh, the business forecast uh, like the. Uh, uh, which period uh, we can uh, traffic uh, decrease, and then we can trigger the um, uh, trigger the application level uh, scaling down. And also, uh, AI can be used to uh, to 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 learn and uh, optimize the uh, parameters. Uh, we can collect uh, the uh, platform uh, each level. Uh, uh, information and uh, use AI to uh, identify some uh, parameters for optimization. Uh, I think th th this part is still a little more uh, exploration. 